finished the race and he without doubt kept the faith. Jeff Kirui KTN News. The Kenya Defense Forces pulled all the stops to ensure the let retired President Emilio Mwai Kibaki was accorded all military honors as the former Commander in Chief. From early morning, when the cortege left the Lee Funeral Home for State House, then Nyayo National Stadium, the officers were at their best to give the best send off to their third five star general. Our reporter Emmanuel To followed the procession and explains the significance of the procession that completed a six kilometer circuit executed in literal military precision. Friday morning, the body of the late President Emilio Stanley Mwai Kibaki began what will be its final journey. And as had been the case for the past one week, the journey began at the Lee Funeral Home. The chilly, gloomy morning, perhaps indicative of the somber mood the country has been in since his passing last Friday. And after the former first family arrived, the casket carrying the remains of President Kibaki, draped in the national flag, was loaded into the house. At exactly 8.30 a.m., the first part of the journey to State House began. For this part of the journey, the body was not carried on a gun carriage. Slowly and majestically, the cottage wound through Agwing's Kodek, down Valley Road, and onto State House Road. Military outriders and an escort Humvee were part of the one kilometer long procession. At State House, a brief guard of honor was mounted, and the national anthem played as President Kenyatta, alongside First Lady Margaret Kenyatta, received the body of his predecessor. the former occupant of the house on the hill. These had been the official residence of President Kibaki for 10 years. People in status council bid farewell to him, and also the president can also bid farewell to him. Of course, when you got there, you saw the small uh, ceremony, a small, uh, very moving indeed, very touching, and also the uh, um, a small service that was delivered in state house. The casket was then loaded onto the gun carriage. The gun carriage is the highest honor given to generals who fall in the line of duty. The military was not about to allow the morning showers ruin the elaborate plan for the state funeral. At one point, the casket had to be covered in polythene for the procession to proceed on the five-kilometer journey to Nyayo National Stadium. The national flag alongside Kibaki's white presidential standard had been mounted on the gun carriage and flew high throughout the journey and even inside the stadium where the rest of the flags were at half-mast. The presidential standard is for the individual and therefore it marks the presence of the individual. All the forces that make up the KDF, the Kenya Army, the Kenya Air Force and the Kenya Navy were incorporated in the march. On the sidelines, members of the police service were also on salute as the entourage marched on. This was the last military parade for the commander in chief. There are uh, military pole bearers who are always with the body and the um, officers of the rank of uh, Fulcano drawn from the three services of the Kenya Army, Kenya Air Force and uh, Kenya Navy and it's their role always to either provide a vigil to the body or move the body as and when it's necessary to move from place to place. Meanwhile, the former first family rode slowly behind the gun carriage. A few minutes later, the procession arrived at Nyayo National Stadium. President Kenyatta, alongside other senior military officers, were at hand to receive the casket. Throughout the service, the casket was surrounded by family members, military generals, Paul bearers and religious leaders who sat at the middle of the stadium. After the funeral service that was conducted here at the Nyayo National Stadium, the body of the late President Emilio Moy Kibaki will now remain in the capital for the last time before it is moved to Othaya for interment. Emmanuel To, KT News, Nyayo National Stadium, Nairobi. Four themes dominated tributes paid to President Mwai Kibaki, a patriot, family man, economist and servant leader. Jimmy Kibaki, President Kibaki's eldest son, described his father as a man of 